Now, also in Fayette, the local Democrats met to share concerns about having big political events that can spread COVID-19. CBS 17's Kayla Strayer is live from Fayetteville State University with their message to the president. Hey, Kayla. Hey, okay. Q for on Kayla when you're ready. We can't get through out these. Yep. Trump should not be having political rallies because of the potential for spreading COVID. This pandemic has taken far too many lives in North Carolina, especially in the communities of color. Give a statement to Mr. President that simply you have failed us, sir. I asked the leaders about participating in rallies like this one in May that also drew big crowds to Fayetteville. I had a mask uh, that was early on initially after uh, the virus came out and operating under your First Amendment rights is important to me and many others and we've seen that um, and we haven't had any evidence to point it that any uh, super spread had taken place at that protest. When it comes to potential unrest in Fayetteville after the elections, Mayor Mitch Colvin says the city is planning for the worst, but hoping for the best. We feel that our citizens uh, understand the process of democracy and we hope that they will accept the results. If looting starts, will officers step in? Uh, certainly, we're going to maintain the, uh, the public safety of this community at all costs. And so uh, we've talked about a number of scenarios, but certainly we will not allow uh, disruption and disorder to, uh, to control our city here in Fayetteville. The Democrats here encouraging everyone to go vote. There is so much at stake here, and that's why it's so important for us to get out and to vote early. Stand by. The mayor is expected to be a part of an event here at FSU Saturday at 12, aimed at getting people registered and out to vote. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News.